All right, let's begin. Once you've inserted the CD into your computer drive and the drive closes, the CD may automatically open, as this just did, or a prompt to run the program will appear. Simply run it, and this Hit Software CD homepage window will open. Don't see it? Don't worry. Let's go find it. Go to your My Computer icon on the desktop, and then find the drive in which you inserted the CD into. Mine's in the E drive. Then let's find the file name titled index.html, double click it, and voila, there it is. Now, HIT offers heaps of information on this CD, including HIT Classroom Response and HIT Show Software, USB drivers for various operating systems, documentation with instruction manuals and help guides, as well as contact information for your any need. But before we can embark on our HIT journey, let's lay our foundation so our program can run. It's as simple as this. Find the Hit CRS tab at the top of the window, and this takes us to the downloads page for the following system operators, Windows, Mac, or Linux. If you're using Mac, you'll also need to download and install the USB driver so the base unit can communicate with the program. But since I'm using Windows Vista, I'm gonna click here for the latest version of Hit software for Windows. Simply click Save File, and the program will be saved to where all your downloads are saved on your computer. Yep, you read it right. You can also download the same software direct from our website. It's easy and free. From the Hit home page, click on the Downloads tab. Then, on the right-hand side, click on Hit CRS Download Page. From here, we can use the link to the CRS V2 software. Now this brings us right to where we started from the beginning of step B. Now let's go back and find the folder where my program was downloaded to and install it. I'm gonna search under my computer, and under my documents, I keep all my downloads saved to a file titled Downloads. Then find the Hit application, double click it, and a window with an installation setup wizard will appear and guide you through the installation process. We recommend you stick to the defaults. So, click Next. Please read the user license agreement and click I agree. Then, Next. And finally, Install. The installation process may take a minute or two, but once it's complete, click the Finish button to close out the wizard. Once it's installed, you'll find two new icons on your desktop. One, Acquisition, and the other, Analyzer, your two new helping hands. The next video in our series of Getting Started is setting up and testing your hardware. Thanks for watching.